Hartley's on the loose, there's a mutant gorilla in the sewer, and we're all waiting for Snowberry's Greatest Hits album release. It's time for Flash Chat. Hey everyone, it's me, Just Jess, and I am here with local artist Andy Smith. He's drawn for DC, for Marvel, just recently finished Earth 2. Yeah. Well, all everything, pretty much everything. And we have Jen Winland, and she is a shoe designer. She makes comic book shoes that you can actually buy locally or online for our non-local viewers. And they are pretty awesome, and I kind of need a flash pair, and I'm pretty jealous. So we're gonna learn about that at the end of the episode, but what did you guys think about last night? Was it a great show for you? Go ahead. Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> so Gee, thanks. Polite. So polite. <laughs> I was really impressed with Shauna. Yeah. I I really liked her. Um, yeah, she, yes. She was pretty cool. The effects were pretty sweet. Yeah. Her. And we were talking about effects. What was your favorite scene? I gotta say, I, I did like that, but subplot-wise, I love seeing um, Dr. Stein yes. and the merge. Yes. You know, and uh, the end. I, Grod. The end with Grodd was just like, it was only what, maybe a minute and a half? But to me, I mean, I almost jumped out of my chair. Yes. It was just so exciting, and you got to see him. I think every viewer yelled, Grodd, when it happened. Yeah. Because they, you, no one was expecting that. I wasn't no. expecting yes. it. I thought maybe they are going to do another. Like, they hadn't done much with Wells this episode. Right. So I was like, oh, it's going to be Wells in the closet again. That was cool. The, for, yeah, the writing on the walls. Really neat, really neat. So this episode was all about duos. So many little duos. We had the metahuman Bonnie and Clyde, which was yeah. Micah Parker was Clay Clay Parker. He did a great job. It was so neat to see him being a villain because he was a really nice guy. And we're looking forward to seeing him maybe on some future episodes because who knows where he went. I'm sure he'll be back. But sure just ditching her like that was just that like, was low. dude. And, and Not the, ladies first. He wasn't no, polite. It, it kind of cracked me up because the Flash knew that she couldn't go anywhere. She couldn't see anything. Yeah. He could have just shut the door. He could have chased them down. You know he could have got. It. I mean, come yes. on. And well, how did he get out that quick? Well, that too. I yeah. mean, he Flash gets right up through the car and it's like, He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's not as important as she was, though. I know. We have some questions. No, I have questions true. about where, where he went to. So hopefully we'll see him again on a future episode, I think. Sure. I think we're going to see so many people again. We also had Snowberry, everyone's favorite karaoke duo. That, how'd you guys feel about that singing? Her drunken self singing. I, I mean, I liked it. And um, yeah. I totally forgot that Grant was on Glee. So yeah, when he too. actually started to sing, I wasn't expecting it. I thought it was just going to be kind of bad. Pokey like yeah, yeah, hokey. Hers, yeah. You know, and, and humorous. Like, oh, and when he started to sing, it was like, wow, like, you know, he's got some pipes on him. Barry and then has pipes, yeah. He meets I didn't know the girl. He was on Glee, so. Yeah, I forgot. I think that's where they casted him from. I don't know, but good <laughs> cast. I mean, that's. I really don't want a musical episode, though. I, I think oh, no, 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 Stephen Amell from Arrow has always said about a musical episode, like over my dead body kind of thing. No, so. you can't do a musical episode on shows like this. Oh, no. that would. Mm -mm. Maybe like on stage, like the Spider-Man. Although the Spider-Man thing didn't seem to work yeah. out too well on Broadway. No. There's a lot of injuries <laughs> up there. No. So Barry and Caitlin had their fun pants on and they sang and it was cute to see her drunk and all that jazz. Um, Hartley and Cisco, that was another duo. How'd you guys feel about Cisco's decision to go find Hartley? Oh, you mean to break him out or yeah. whatever? What'd you think? Not smart. No. Come on, I mean, You Cisco. knew he was going to pull something to, to get away from Cisco. And the over arching question I have about where they're keeping all the bad guys there is, do the cops not know that they're keeping these guys here? Because, I don't think so. You know, the cops like know, for instance, about, you know, the teleportation girl. Yeah. They saw her and, and stuff. And they're just like, never and mind. That, and now she's just <laughs> gone. And they don't question it like, oh, she's gone. Where'd she go? You know. Uh, Lucky for us. Yeah. They're just getting all locked up. And when did they build all these cells down there. I know, there. and I wonder if Joe West has anything to do with like keeping it. Like it's, I solved it, it's fine. I don't know. There's a lot of questions there, but our director Chase a really funny point. He's real worked up about it. So if anyone knows, answer him. He's annoyed that they haven't explained like the plumbing or the bathrooms in the particle accelerator prison. Oh He's yeah. Like, well, the that's conditions are just bad in the particle accelerator prison. It's Gitmo. It's yes, Gitmo. It is Gitmo. It's one time well maybe bad. with the powers they don't even have to eat or anything. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? yeah that's what I was wondering. <laughs> they just don't, they don't go to the bathroom. They're like girls. They just don't go. <laughs> so what did you guys think about Car uh, Barry and Caitlin? Do you think that Caitlin is kind of forming some romantic feelings towards Barry. They did allude to it a little bit. A little bit. And I, I hope that it doesn't happen. Yeah, every time I kind of thought they were, she might say something, it yeah. kind of seemed like it didn't, but I, do you think it's something that might be building? Um, I don't know. I think 
I think his, the, the new love interest they introduced last night that he went on the date with, I think they're gonna keep her around. Yeah. And I think that triangle will be Which with uh, um, Iris. Iris, yes. Yes. That's uh, what I think it's gonna, gonna be. be. I, I like that, that that'll one. be the triangle there, I think. When they work together, yeah. awkward. But they were, I mean, it was neat to meet at Melise Jow. People were very excited about her character. Mm -hmm. I think they're gonna be doing a lot more. And in the Flash comics, isn't she, doesn't she marry Wally West? I think so, yeah. In the comic it, world. Yeah. So, so I recognize the name. So. And they have cast it a Wally West, but we're, we're not sure how they're gonna, you know, keep in sync with those comics or if they're just gonna go completely off the rails and change who the characters are. So we'll see what happens to them. But back to Cisco and his inadequate ninja skills. Letting Harley I'm impressed go. he got that far. Yeah, you gotta admit he did, though that he did first good. That, yeah. that first fight with him though was good. Was good. I was yes. like, where'd Cisco learn those moves from? <laughs> I know. I mean, that was it was yeah. really good. I know. And he and Cisco had some great lines about how do you know six language and you still sound like yeah. a jerk and all that. Oh yeah. Whatever he said. He had some great lines with Hartley. Do you think? Now here's my question. We saw Grodd at the end, and I've. I don't know everything about the comic, but if you research it, in the Silver Age Flash, Grodd breaks out the enemies from, I'm guessing, the particle accelerator right. um, and as a distraction to kind of take over the world. Micah Parker, when he was here, did mention, he alluded, there may be some kind of prison break from the particle accelerator. Then, in the New 52 comics, we learned that the rogues like Captain Cold and Pipe Piper do team up with the Flash to defeat Grodd. What do you think's gonna happen with this storyline with, with Hartley and Grodd? Well, I was gonna say, if anybody does the breakout, I think it would be Hartley. Yeah, Agreed. Breaking everybody out. I think out. so. That'd be um, yeah. They need to, I think they need to set Grodd up more, you know, for the viewers and stuff, because uh, he's uh, he's intelligent, but how intelligent? You know, we need yeah. to see that. We first. haven't seen it yet. Yeah. If, if you're a reader of the comics, you would know that he's intelligent, but yeah. We haven't witnessed it. We just, if we witnessed he's hungry, and it reminded yeah. me of when I want cookies, I feel good, <laughs> so I understand. I understand, the struggle is real. Do you think um, that Hartley, I still question if he's gonna kind of be a lone, like a lone wolf, like he's gonna be on his own and not really part of the rogues, and not really part of the Flash, but kind of fighting for the greater good. Do you, I mean, what do you guys, how do you feel, how do you feel about Hartley's real true persona? I don't know, I just think he has it against Wells. I don't, Yeah. you know, so whatever to, can to bring him, and he down. knows, he knows, a, you know, he knows more, he knows more than he's letting know. on. I don't know if he knows about the whole reverse Flash stuff or not. I don't well, know. Well, so my question I don't know why he said it. In last episode, when he saw when he saw Wells in the hallway, kind of right. like hunched over, right. and then magically when when Barry got there, he was back in his chair. But I mean, in the meantime, what happened? You know. Right. So, or are they in cahoots? I don't know. Is it a big ploy? I can't. If he would think if he knew Wells' secret, and if Wells knew that you know he knew it. That Wells wouldn't even want to keep him around. Yeah. You know, keep him alive. Yeah. And would orchestrate something to get him out of the picture Unless totally, not just lock him up. Yeah. Well, that's it's good. It's all a big puppet, puppeteering marionette. I, 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 I want to, I just am so curious to see what happens. But I was happy that they kind of took away from the, they took a break from the whole reverse flash thing. Because it was, right. I like how they build it up every now and then. We saw so much last episode, so it was good mm -hmm. to get a kind of a different perspective on this one. I love the effects of the scene we were talking about when Micah, or Clay, I keep calling him Micah because his name, Clay Parker disappeared from the car. Yeah. They, they're doing great with effects on this show. I mean, that was a really cool scene. And I think that whenever Grodd comes back, it's, do you think they'll do it justice on the show? Do you think they'll be able to? I have high hopes. High hopes? Yeah. 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 I think so because he's not going to be an every episode type character. Yeah. So. You know, I'm sure budget-wise, the budget's more with the CG effects and stuff. Yeah. But because it's not like always in every episode, they can just really knock it out of the park yeah. for, you know, the, the episodes he's in. Maybe they've been working on it since like a year ago. Who knows? It yeah. could have been. Very yeah. well could have been. I'd like to know how far they are right now with shooting. Like what part they're shooting currently. Yeah. Well, you know, just from reading uh, Stephen Amell's stuff on Facebook mm -hmm. in regards to Arrow, and from kind of what I know anyhow, just with other TV shows, I would say that maybe they're just like four, four episodes out. Okay, cool. So I'm excited to see who, especially who else is gonna be cast. I mean, I think they've cast a lot of good people this season. Um, I'm sure we'll see more villains, but I'm thinking maybe they'll work with what they have and build them up. 
Probably. stronger, yeah, towards the end. And speaking of good characters, John Wesley Shipp. That was such a good scene. It was great. Man, he's he knows. Great. He knows Barry's and the he Flash. Knows. He knows. He does. And is it odd that he just accepts that he's the superhero after, I mean, what happened to his wife? Is There's no questions there. Just like, good job there, buddy. Uh, I he's mean. Had how many years to sit on what happened to his true. wife? But no. still, if your son now is portraying symptoms of whatever killed your wife, this is the kind of. No, but his son, you know, it's not like his, it's not like he's doing bad stuff. He's doing, yeah. you know, he's doing heroic stuff. Yeah. And at the same time, being in the jail atmosphere, it's not like he can really have that heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. Go, look, I know you're the Flash. Yeah. Nobody hurt me. Nobody I know. Hurt me, you know. And if I was a prisoner, I would get injured all the time because he had all kinds of visiting hours when he was oh, in the yeah. little hospital room. I was like. I, and there's, I don't see a guard, so I no, would I be breaking that, things was, all the time. There was a little bit like when, when the focus was on Barry, in the background there was a there Something. was a guard standing back there. Yeah. yeah. Interesting though. That's maybe so. if you're in prison, maybe just get injured. No I'm kidding. Just get shivved. You just get shivved, and then you can go visit all <laughs> your right. friends in the hospital. So next week's episode is going to focus a lot on Firestorm. We've seen, we saw the really cool image of Victor Garber merged with Robbie Amell. Um, that was really neat to finally see, and we're going to see more of it in the next episode. It's called Nuclear Man. Go ahead and check out this trailer. I have these memories, memories that I know aren't my own. The Hudson Falls. That's why Ronnie proposed to me. Professor Stein, I know you don't want to hurt anyone else. Martin Stein and Ronnie Raymond share a body. Ronnie, not Ronnie. Any attempt to separate the two of them could be catastrophic. He could go nuclear. Barry, get out of there. The Flash, new hit series this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So it looks like it's going to be a great show. Are you guys excited to see more of oh, Ronnie yeah. Raymond? Absolutely. They're going to try to separate him from Martin Stein. Yeah. Feel like that's going to go badly. Of course. Of course. <laughs> that's just the way things roll. But we're looking forward to the next episode. Oh, yeah. As usual. And we want to get into why have these two lovely people here. Jen has some brought some of these cool comic book shoes. Tell us how you make these. It's a secret. It's a, se it's a secret <laughs> of the trade. Yep. She's Can't a metahuman. Metahuman shoemaker. This is actually my superpower. There you go. <laughs> I need that superpower. <laughs> I love me a shoe. So where can we buy these if we're interested? There are two places you can get them. You can get them on Etsy.com. So search for my shop, Be Graphically Novel. Be Graphically Novel. Very cool. And you can also find them at Beadlush, the jewelry store, and more yeah. on, pl on the plaza. Very cool. Very um, close to our station. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like right around the corner. Right around the corner. So local people, if you want to go out there. And do you do custom orders? Of course. That's gonna, the only way you can do them. I'm going to custom order some flash ones. Please. These are so cool. You got to check these out. Look at this one's. This one is Batman. And Robin. And Robin. And then the companion shoe is the Joker and Harley Quinn. Oh my gosh, you need to come out to the Mad Monster. Adam West and Bert Ward will be there. You can I wear can these. Do that. Oh, yeah. that would be amazing. <laughs> That's really neat. And Andy, what have you been working on in the comic world? Uh, I'm working on Earth 2 for DC. Nice. I'm working on finishing up my last issue of that. And uh, current work with DC after that, we're still figuring it out. And then I'm also doing some work for Marvel. Ooh, Marvel. On uh, another Thanos graphic novel. Very cool. So. And you can check out me and Andy. We did an episode of Flash Chat before. Look on our YouTube and you can see his studio. And I'll be putting up some more from his studio eventually when there's a break in the Flash, which is coming up. There's be a spring break break. I guess they, they just need to go to the beach. That's right. They're up in Canada. They get cold. <laughs> yeah. But until next week, we enjoyed this Flash Chat and we enjoyed this episode. Tonight at 8 is the Arrow, followed by the 100 at 9. And stay tuned for the news at 10 and the Edge. Will has a special to story tonight about cyber crimes. So don't miss out on that. Until then, we'll see you guys later.